of this obsidian face, fella, would you? How nice does that look? It's almost just like a photo negative of Blaster. Also, straight off the top, I don't want to call him Blaster. I don't want to think of him as Shattered Glass Blaster. Or, if he is from the Shattered Glass universe, right? Shattered Glass Blaster is just hard to say. That's a mouthful. Shattered Glass Blaster. Shattered Glass Blaster. I have already started thinking of him as just being B-Side, right? Is that not a cool name for a Nega Blaster? B-Side? It, um, at first I'd sort of thought that this color scheme was a little bit, a little bit flat and that he'd really sort of disappear when you looked at him alongside regular Blaster. But, uh, I don't know what it is. Like, looking at him is almost like looking into a black hole. I feel like he's sucking all the light out from around him to create a high contrast nightmare. Speaking of white noise, instead of rewind, this cassette is going to be known as White Noise. Can he press his own belly? Oh yeah. It's never not going to be a satisfying feature on a toy, is it? They also definitely made the right call by not oversaturating it as a gimmick. Because it means you really look forward to a sound wave and a blaster and a cassette pack. Is this how you transform this doofus? Yeah, that looks like a little foot there. Ooh, I love that tiny little blue accent on him. That looks very nice. The dark plastic also works really well. Mini comparison time! It's like having your own little hype man with you wherever you go. It's like if Flavor Flav's clock could transform. Ooh, was there a Bot Spot's clock that I could turn into a Flavor Flav clock? So it's a Bot Bot Flavor clock. That'd be really cool. The really cool thing sculpt wise is because he's essentially a bass boosted rock lord, there's really not a lot of kibble there. Kind of just that butt flap. That then of course lends itself to some like real tidy articulation. So you get 180, comes all the way out, you've got a bicep swivel, just past the 90 bend. Hey, you guys are good. How the hell do you do that? Pretty clear, ball jointed head that you can throw a lot of shapes out of. He's got waist swivel. A big roundhouse action, pure. Universal hip, thigh swivel, 90 bend, ankle tilt. Oh yeah, I should probably also mention he comes with his gun, which is a, um, I think a pretty good approximation of his original G1 gun. You can kind of do that, that two-handed sideways thing, like a Tommy gun or something. It does clearly seem like it's meant to be used with his stock and the sight, but um, he, he can't. If you're not using it as a gun, well, I guess it's still a gun even when you store it, but it can go in any of these hexagon ports, which is pretty cool. Hey, gun over the shoulder, weapon storage, that's a plus. By way of a comparison, let's peep him alongside fellow evil Autobots, Goldberg and Blur. We're blue. We're blue and bad. As bad as we are blue, we're the, we're the, we're the bad guys in blue, the blue guys. Blah. Let's also go ahead and take a look at him alongside Netflix Soundwave. He's um he's quite a bit shorter, which I guess the G1 toy was. Is the G1 character model? Let's say it is. Draw. Talk, no shock. And let's go ahead and peep him alongside regular Universe Blaster. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. You poor excuse for a sound system. They do look very cool together. Having the now having the shattered glass version makes me wish even more that I'd been lucky enough to get one of the happy blaster faces. But even just the different color cast, you know this is a bad guy blaster. The two of them together reminds me very, very much of in a fighting game when both of you pick the same player. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> Would you like to play again? You have selected no. So because this is a second pressing, I'm going to jog through this transformation pretty quickly. say it does do a better job than what Soundwave kind of did. If you're at the younger end of my audience, there's a good chance that this is going to appear as a needless and wasteful level of surface detail. 
But to anyone who actually had a boombox in like, you know, the 80s, 90s knows, this isn't even that much stuff. There should be all these like little lights measuring stuff. I, like, you know, it's a lot, right? It's obviously a lot. So obviously, I guess a vehicle, a vehicle mode, an alt mode. This is why they changed it from vehicle mode to alt mode. Comparison. Do ba do do do. And some of the other big prizes on the wheel. Have a look at these. Simplistic yet elegant, their sapphire crystal domes are united with a brilliance of high-tech ceramic bracelet. Complemented by gold trim with precision quartz movement, they're priced at three thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars. So do you really need this B side? I don't know. That's up to you. This mold is a phenomenal mold. When you think about him in terms of the other Shattered Glass releases, he is probably one of the, the laziest so far, right? Like Starscream had extra swords, Megatron had all that extra gear, uh, new head sculpts for most other characters. He didn't even come with an extra gun. But for me personally, I do think this mold is worth owning two of, and I have no intentions of getting the inevitable twin twist. Twin twist? Twin cast. I do think that this mold is cool enough to justify a second purchase but um i draw the line at twin cast i won't be twin casting it up even though it'd go great with sound blaster i just i don't know these colors are cooler I'm all about that b-side catch <clears throat> thanks so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you had a good time tell your friends tell your mum tell anyone who will listen it's pretty well a wrap on that there's only one thing left to do really